In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the BStore backend if you install the demo content. These steps are only helpful if you install the demo content because uh, some pages are already pre-populated. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to uh, what, what steps you should take next. So from the website homepage, I'm going to roll over dashboard. I'm going to roll over BeatStore and click settings. So if you install the demo content, a lot of this stuff is already pre-populated with settings that I set for myself. So uh, so under general, what you want to pay attention to is your country, if you're in a different um, country from the United States, and you want to select your state if you're in a different state. Um, I'm in California, so that's what I selected. Also, you want to select your currency um, if you're a different currency, and also you can select your uh, currency position. Um, so I'm just going to leave all these uh, as they as they are. Um, I'm going to go to Payment Gateways. So the default payment option is PayPal. Um, it's a free option to use. They charge um, a small percentage. Uh, you can add additional payment options uh, with additional plugins. Um, we're going to do a quick te test payment in, in a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to select the test payment. Um, these uh, icons are icons that could appear on your checkout page. If you offer these different options, the default is PayPal once again, so PayPal is already checked. Um, you want to enter in your PayPal email address here. Um, make sure you enter it properly so you could get your payments. Um, I'm not going to enter in mine right now, but you should enter in yours. I'm going to click Save Changes. All right, next we're going to go to email. Um, so uh, this is going to be the email that your customer receives after they buy a beat or the email that you uh, receive at their beat is sold. Um, so let's go, you know, from top to bottom. So logo, I'm going to add a logo. And this will be a logo that appears at the top of um, the email. I just have this Hip Hop Makers logo. It's uploaded, I'm gonna click insert into post. Um, you want to, uh, from name, this is gonna be the name of your website. I'm just gonna put Hip Hop Makers. keyboards in my way uh, you want to enter in your firm um, from email address let's say info at hiphopmakers.com uh, this is the uh, email subject well let's do a quick preview I need to save first to see the logo let's I'm gonna go down for a quick second and save. So let's preview. You can see the logo appears here. Um, and this is how the email will look after a beat is purchased. You may, you know, this is just a sample logo. Don't judge it. All right, so let's change more information. So the email subject line is gonna be uh, purchase receipt. Um, and you can change that. Uh, and the purchase information in the email. So thank you for your purchase. is gonna have your site name. Um, uh, and what you want to change in here is maybe your your uh, your name. So let's say your my name is Hip Hop Makers, and I'm going to uh, change the web address. So hiphopmakers.com. So that's the purchase. Let's save it and let's see it again. I'll preview. So hello, whatever the person's name is. Thank you for your purchase from the site is called Test Site right now. Um, and that's pretty simple. Uh, going down. Oh, so these are some other variables that you can um, enter into the email. Those, those are all optional. It's up to you. Uh, sales notification. This is the email that you're going to get to let you know a beat was um, purchased. Um, you can change it. It's up to you. And then you want to enter in um, a sales notification email address. Um, so enter in your email address so you know that uh, you got a purchase. I'm just going to click Save Changes. All right, let's go to Styles. Styles, I'm going to leave it as is. Taxes, you can um, include taxes on top of your beats if you want. Um, this is totally optional. Um, I don't, I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to skip it. And these are some additional options. Um, if you want to redirect uh, straight to checkout, um, this is just information that you can, you know, it's all optional what you want to do. Let's go down to uh, down agree to terms. Um, so this is an option on your checkout page if you want people to agree to your terms before they could purchase a beat. Um, you can change this header and you can um, do something with your agreement text. Um, I'll include a link to uh, 
this is a um, some information that's on SoundCloud on um, leasing rights, exclusive rights, and special TV rights. And I'm just going to copy and paste this into here. So it's just a sample, um, and you modify it to fit your needs. Um, and also, so complete purchase text, you could change that, or the buy button text. I'm just going to click save. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to the home page. And let's say I, I want to add the the beat shopping cart widget. So I'm going to roll over appearance, go to widgets, and uh, you want to find the download cart widget. But you want to make sure that you also select the right sidebar. So this is going to be the beats in general sidebar. And the single beats sidebar. So the cart is already there. Um, so let's go to the home page again. There's a cart widget, no title. So we're going to just do a quick test purchase. So you can see that I have one beat for sale. I'm going to click the cart icon. Um, Say so I'm going to select a premium. I'm going to click buy. You can see it's added to the cart. Um, I'm going to click checkout. Um, you can see it's in the checkout page. Um, I'm going to select a test payment. And this is where the user will enter their email address. They will enter in their name. Be, um, here are where the terms appear. I'm going to click show terms and you can see the terms that um, I copied and paste appear here. Modify those to fit your needs. Um, I'm going to hide the terms and I'm going to click check because I agree. And I'm going to click check out. And you can see this is where the person would uh, click the link to download the beat. And that's just a test purchase. So, um, you know, that's pretty simple on the back end setup information. Um, I hope that that helps.